September, it is the beginning of what will be a massive project renovating the old Loretta Heights campus. The 72-acre campus is in southwest Denver on the northeast corner of 285 and Santa Fe. Dominic Garcia went to the first public meeting for this project. And, Dom, you met a woman whose history there goes back some 60 years. Karen, this place is near and dear to her heart. Not just the big, beautiful buildings you see from Federal, but especially this cemetery behind all that. It is priceless places like this, and many say have to be preserved. Thank you for writing. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone who has a closer connection to this place than Sister Mary Nell Gage. Good. Very good. Yeah, idea. write that down. Not only is she a sister of Loretto, but she went to school here in the 60s. Oh, exactly. Around each corner of campus is a memory. Some of the most fond memories that I have that I carry as treasures. She's now with the Spirit of Loretto Committee and wants to make sure the developer who owns the campus appreciates what came before and what remains over a hundred years later. Troubling in the sense that you don't want to see what is so important be lost or forgotten. Her biggest worry is the cemetery on the north end of the property, which is the final resting place of 62 nuns. Some from the pioneer days when we first came to Colorado from New Mexico in 1864. City officials say nothing is going to happen to that, but as for the rest of the campus and the big, beautiful buildings, that's still up in the air. For 130 years, this has been a private college and private property. Now it's going to be open to everybody, and how we want to use that is what this meeting's all about. Thank you for all of your comments. Sister Mary Nell Gage knows this campus has to change, but wants people to remember what made it so special. Now, the city of Denver organized tonight's meeting for more information on what happened tonight and future events. You can go to our website at cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.